Clinical Evaluation of Subacromial Impingement and Cuff Pathology. There are multiple tests used for clinical evaluation of the subacromial impingement and cuff pathology. We start with the nearest test. The position of the patient. The patient is standing or sitting upright. The examiner will passively elevate the pronated arm of the patient above the level of the shoulder. Pain at the anterolateral aspect of the shoulder indicates subacromial impingement. The Hawkins test. You position the patient standing or sitting upright with the arm fully adducted and forwardly flexed. The elbow is also flexed. The examiner will place one hand on the patient's shoulder and apply internal rotation to the affected arm with the other hand. Pain at the shoulder indicates subacromial impingement. Drop arm test. Position of the patient. The patient will be standing or sitting upright. The patient is asked to hold the affected arm in abduction at the level of the shoulder, then smoothly abduct the arm. What are the findings? In a patient who is not suffering from a rotator cuff tear, the patient can lower the arm smoothly to the side. A patient suffering from a rotator cuff tear will not be able to hold the arm in abduction and the arm will drop rapidly. Belly press test. This is a test for the integrity of the subscapularis muscle. Position of the patient. The patient is standing with the hand of the affected arm at rest against the stomach or resting against the stomach with the elbow anterior to the mid-axillary line. The patient is then asked to press the belly using the affected arm without moving the elbow. Failure to maintain the elbow anterior to the mid-axillary line while pressing against the belly indicates subscapular stare. Lift-off test for subscapularis integrity. Position of the patient. The patient is standing with the affected arm internally rotated behind the back so that the dorsum of the hand will be resting on the lumbar area from the back. The examiner will passively lift the arm away from the patient's back. Positive findings. Once the examiner releases the arm, failure to maintain the position of the arm away from the back indicates subscapularis tendon tear. The abduction external rotation test. Position of the patient. The patient is standing with the affected arm abducted and the elbow flexed. The examiner will fully externally rotate the arm. With the release of the arm, failure to maintain active full external rotation indicates an infraspinatus tendon tear. Also, weakness of external rotation with the arm to the side could indicate an infraspinatus tendon tear. Job's test. Position of the patient. The patient is standing or sitting upright. The arm should be anteriorly flexed at the level of the shoulder. Fully pronate the arm into the empty can position. The patient should resist the downward force applied to the forearm by the examiner. Pain or weakness indicates a supraspinatus tendon lesion or tear.